everybody, my name is Madison Hartley and today I'm going to be talking about the Alcon Blue Butterfly Life Cycle. So most of you guys know that animals continue to evolve unique characteristics that allow them to survive. Well, the Alcon Blue Butterfly has adapted a very unique characteristic which it has mastered the art of mind control. So today I will inform you about the Alcon Blue Butterfly Life Cycle and its potential threats. Most of my research has come from Dr. Hilary Hurd, a professor and specialist in parasitology, as well as the UNCW Library Database. So the beginning life stages of the butterfly start off with the female butterfly laying her eggs on a flower that's usually in a meadow. Um, during this time, the egg will eventually hatch and the larvae will stay on the flower for a few weeks before it inevitably it will drop to the ground. Once it drops to the ground, um, usually in every meadow there are tons of different ant nests everywhere and the larvae will let out a specific pheromone that will bring the forager ants over to it and this pheromone will pretty much tell the ants like, hey, I'm one of your own. So the uh, ant will take the larvae back into their nest uh, where the rest of their larvae are. Um, and this can be multiple different butterfly larvae that comes down into the nest. So the larvae will continue to um, get food and to get protection from the ants and just overall grow as large as they can. And a lot of the times the um, ants will prefer the butterfly larvae over their own larvae. Um, also, the uh, butterfly larvae will emit the same sounds as the ant larvae. So when the butterfly larvae is ready to eat, they'll make the same sounds that the ants would and the ants will come over and feed them. So you would think that the, um, the larvae would have a really, really safe place to grow and to be able to eventually pupate and become a butterfly but they do have one predator, which is called the Ichneumon wasp. And the Ichneumon wasp is also a predator, but is also a parasite. So um, the Ichneumon wasp will go down into the ant nest and then will also let out a pheromone. And this pheromone, instead of attracting the ant to it, will actually make the ants fight themselves so that the wasp won't get attacked and the wasp can go down into the ant nest even further. At this point, there's a lot of times a lot of other ants that are still in the, um, in the nest where the larvae are, but there's not enough to where they can actually fight off the wasp. So the wasp will find as many different butterfly larvae as they can and inject them with their own eggs. And ultimately, this will end up changing the genetic makeup of the larvae. So instead of them coming out as a butterfly, they will come out as a wasp instead. But for the butterfly that are lucky and do, don't get um, injected with the wasp egg, they will form a chrysalis and continue to grow in the chrysalis. And then they will eventually um, leave. Once they hatch, they will eventually leave the nest and crawl out. And they will usually find some kind of flower or branch or something where they can perch on and let their wings fully grow to where they can fly off. This would be the same thing for the wasp. It would have the chrysalis and it would eventually leave. Um, a lot of times though, the ants will still try to take care of the hatched um, chrysalis as it still has some of the pheromones left over from the uh, larvae. So um, overall the Alcon Blue butterfly has a very unique set of characteristics that allows for its survival and 